getting unloaded, y'all. This is why I slept at last night. There ain't nothing around. As far as your eye can see. Except for a little building over there. Ain't none of the other trucks showed up. Yeah, they're supposed to be uh, three, four, five, six more trucks. I'm finna find out what this what this actually is supposed to be. Hey, what is this? Got a question for you. What is this? System. I was told it was a battery. I was told it's a generator. I was told it's an well, inverter. I think it's a converter. Isn't it? What? These, these are battery. Oh, okay. Battery the batteries, packs. Yeah. yeah, the inverter and the transformer and the other one. Oh, okay. So you got three of these. Uh -huh, three of these oh. and, three of and three of the small ones. ones. Yeah. Okay. How much? God. Damn, that's a hell of a load, ain't it? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> A four million dollar battery. <laughs> so, is it going to be a solar farm or? No. I was told it's it was something a, like a, a solar farm. It's a backup one. Oh, that way when the, the freeze. You know that freeze that got taken? Yeah, yeah that happened a few years ago. Four million dollars each. But that's that's not kind of beef. This is just the batteries, and the batteries are not in here. Yet. Each battery costs six thousand dollars. Yeah. It's like seven or eight hundred dollars. Yeah, dog. And I bet when I have to put four batteries on that black Peter belt over. Uh, I get mad when I do have to do that too. <laughs> Imagine having to change not batteries on one of these things. Yeah. I mean, it's very simple. Man. It's hey. go, it's what I'm saying is, imagine having to come out the pocket with oh, changing oh, one of the batteries on one of these oh, yeah. things. We, we do. I mean, the taxpayers pay all for that, all that. Oh, you pay that electric bill every month. Yeah, we pay for it, but it ain't it ain't a big chunk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just one, a few taxes. Shot. Yeah. I gotta go give me some tires now. That outside tire in the front, yeah. it got chunks missing out of it. Uh -oh. Yeah, I blew one yesterday going to Sonora on my uh, step pad. I was about 10 miles from my destination, inside tire decided to start scaring Decided it wanted to quit, huh? Yep. I know I see this one here got look like a cut right here, so I might yeah. have them change this one too. Yep. You I definitely get a couple tires. Yeah, that's at least two of them. That company trailer? Yeah. Got this one here. Damn, that chunk's oh, missing yeah. out of it. LT has shut you down for that one. Luckily I'm on what, 20 miles away from the Lowe's right there in Fort Stockton? Yeah, I think so. I'd go there and have them train these tires before I go get my next load. I would. I was trying to go get my next load first, but I see that now. It's just like... Yeah, you don't want to put the weight on there and have that some bitch blow trying to get to the damn tire place sit on the side of the road. I ain't trying to do that. I don't blame you. Well, you run all over or just regional? I run everywhere. Oh. 
Okay. Except for California, Washington, Oregon, New York, and New Jersey. Them the four states I don't, five states I don't go to yeah. or through. So if I got to go through one of them to get to somewhere, I ain't going. And with this new law in Connecticut, they charging up to 17 and a half cents a mile for trucks that, for semis, for commercial vehicles. From two to 17 and a half cents a mile. If you ride on the highway, for every mile you ride in the highway. Yeah, that's Connecticut starting that in January. Fuck that. I said the same thing. Well, I, I, well, I'm, I've been doing driving for 38 years. Uh-huh. And I used to run to Ontario, California all the time. I turned 22 A's back in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. When they didn't have all these bullshit laws. And now they got all of them and it's just like, hey, I don't oh, want to do it nothing. Make it, it, it costs you more money to go out there than you make. Yep. And Last time I went to California was right. I was with this company, but um, they were paid to the truck five fifty two hundred after everything. Mm -hmm. So I went out there for that. But outside of that, I went out there and came right back out. Yeah, I used to run out twin TAs out there all the time and, and uh, pick up out of Port of Los Angeles. Uh huh. And uh, occasionally I go to Seattle. I come over Donner's Pass out there one day with a load of steel come out of Seattle with it. Broke off that fucking mountain. The goddamn trash truck ahead of me was smoking his brakes. And we had a line of antique cars that just come out of the car show uh -huh. out in the fast lane. Fucking officer, I guess somebody called in about him because he was just about on fire. And we were all behind him trying to give him room. And that DOT car got on channel 19 says, every one of you fucking trucks getting that hammer lane, get the hell away from here. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem, brother. Hey, Dave, I again. appreciate it. <laughs> you get, you told me where to go. That's it. When he said that, you that just, was it. it was like, that was all she wrote down. he stopped all them cars, he got in front of them and backed them way off of us. Out we came. Time I hit the bottom of that mountain, I was running about 90. <laughs> just riding. <laughs> hey, but he told you to get away from him, so you can can't do nothing right now. I'm trying to get on the uh, uh, RGN. Yeah. But um, they say that the freight is slowed down for the RGN. So yeah, it's that time of year. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be stuck until what? Jane, February, March time frame. Yeah. Is well, what they hell, say. The way they're talking, there's going to be a shortage on diesel here shortly. They've been talking about that shortage on diesel for the last two or three months though. I, I I don't I'm not gonna say it. I ain't gonna be no shortage, but well, at this point, when it comes to the government, I believe in when I see it. Well, because we get uh, so much fuel out of Russia, yeah, and we're not getting it. Yeah, but you know what would solve all that is if the one in the office now would uh, veto his his original plans. Well, yeah. When he first got in office, he counseled dog on oh, yeah. the he pipeline and a bunch of other yeah, stuff exactly. that produces oil. But yeah. not not Russia, like y'all ain't getting no oil from us no more. Yep. And then Saudi Arabia is doing the same thing, and China is uh, is partnering with all them too. Uh -huh. We got oil. Oh, he we just got don't. It right here, he just it? yeah, we got it. He just don't want us to use. It. Well, yeah. And they keep sending our just uh, strategic reserves. over somewhere else. Uh huh. That's the problem. I think that stupid son bitch is trying to cripple the United States. There ain't no, ain't no trying to. He will. Longer, the longer he stay in there, the, the, the closer he gonna get to succeeding to that. Uh -huh. he's, he's definitely working on it. Now, once we get up off of you, yeah, he told me to, he told me to move away. Yeah, he um, Travis told me. He uh, said he told me that when he uh walked over there and grabbed my bills and stuff. Yeah. He said, back up. Um, when y'all get ready to pull up from me, move away. I'm going to stand out there because I ain't got my hard hat on. Yeah. And then... Um, yeah, well, we'll swing it over out of the way and then we'll let you get out of here. Yeah, and then I just throw my chains and stuff. I put my chains and stuff up out there and do my pre-trip with them two bad tires on there. All right. Whew. It's a little chilly out here.
Ooh, boy. Well, yo, that's it, yo. That's it.